Hey everyone, Mary here. We're back in the wonderful world of This is the Police, and let's see what's going on. Retired police officer Thomas Blaine shoots pregnant woman. Ah, oh, shit. I thought she was a suicide bomber. Well, the only suicide she's committing is having a child. Zing! Um, well, I mean, that, that's not very fair. Children aren't suicide. They're beautiful, and they're the future, and they just change your life significantly. Let's go to work and change the subject. Okay. And... Why would a man need a barn to store all the stuff you can't bring home? About 30 years ago, back when I was young and interested in farming, I carried all kinds of junk home. Okay. After a day in the field, I'd come home with buckets, shovels, dirty boots and clothes, and instantly transform the living room. But even back then, there's something I always kept in the barn. My wife. Oh no, wait, she ran away. What? Drugs! All right! I stopped keeping my pills inside the house because every time I was about to take a triple, someone would knock on my bedroom door. Now they're knocking on my barn door. Well, fine. It's not every day that someone comes to visit your barn. <laughs> In all the years we worked together, Kendrick never came to visit the house. We drank at bars, went fishing, went to the mountains, even chased off some poachers one time. But he never came for dinner with the family. We never watched football over here. And now he's brought his friends to visit my barn. I always try to look unsurprised, like it's an everyday thing to get visitors at the old barn especially guests with their own personal bodyguards. But Kendrick is sharp enough to see he's caught me with my pants on backwards. Sorry for the surprise, Jack. We saw you from the car. Figured we'd find you in here. I'm going in for a minute, fellas. These guys will wait outside. I How long you been dating the lover boys? They're sans people, Jack. Yeah. So now you're appearing in public with members of the Mafia? Jack, I'm leaving tonight. More like fleeing. Jenny and I are taking the girls and making a run for it. Probably won't be seeing each other again. I've got new documents, a new name, a new life, everything new. The papers say you're still working your last week for the department. I've got to get out today. I won't be getting another chance. Don't know if you noticed, but the whole city is against me. You told your Mafia friends about your plans. Jack, if I don't fix everything with them in the next few hours, they're going to kill me. And not just me. My family, my relatives. God, Jack, I don't know who else. They found out that I was planning to run, and they demanded that we close our contract today. Your contract, Frank? Really? Is that how you talk now? Maybe you should call in the lawyers to straighten all this out. Now is not the time, Jack. Please. I have a commitment to them until the end of the year. They need an inside line at police headquarters. I can't just give them back the money. That's not how the Mafia works. If I can't find someone I can trust tonight, I'm dead. You know me, Jack. I wouldn't ask you if I wasn't afraid they'd cut my daughters to pieces before sunrise. He's the damn fool who puts his daughters in the crosshairs in the first place. Anyone in my place would have dressed him down good. But I didn't want to pile it on. Fate's already got this guy's soul in the grinder. Well, that's, that's an interesting decision. Do I compromise police security? To help out Kendrick and save a family? Or do I just refuse and be like, Fuck you, Kendrick. You're the dumbass. Go kiss a, a horse's butt. And then you die. By, by horse butt kissing. I'm gonna help him out because I'm a good guy. And hopefully they'll give me money. Because I'm a greedy good guy. Hooray! Click. Give him my phone number and tell him it's done. Don't call me. Don't come to work today. I don't want to see or hear from you again. Time for you to go. Jack. I... Get the fuck out of my nice cozy barn, Frank. <laughs> fuck you, Frank. God damn it. 
Am I dead? At the time, I was trying not to think about what just happened. It was almost too much to take in. I'm probably the most popular police chief in the history of the city, and I have to admit, I've thought about that more than once, sometimes with a little pride, even. In one of the features they wrote about me in the papers, they said it pretty plain. He catches the criminals. Believe me, high praise like that is unheard of in Freeburg, especially for a cop. And here I am, the person who catches criminals, and I've agreed to help the Mafia, or I'll come home to a bag stuffed with my kid's body parts. Right before the last hammer falls. Hey, remember that cop who caught criminals? It turns out he was a Mafia bitch. And all for the sake of a greedy, corrupt cop who should have fled the country years ago. That sound right to you? Yeah. I'm sorry, but I just couldn't commit those kids to death. I never really thought about our own kids. Whoops! Um, so phone light reading saying, oh, no. No. You cannot go home to finish. What kind of cops are like, I just want to read a book? No, you have work to do. There are criminals to catch. Criminals. Uh, no, we're gonna go to the map. No music, cause no copyright strikes. Okay. Um, no matter your personal relationship, city's administration, your police station is at their mercy. In order to obtain reasonable working conditions, you have to send appropriate requests to the mayor. Oh, I hate the mayor. The mayor's such a douche! Oh, City Hall. The decision of City Hall depends on whether they're satisfied with your work. You can send requests every five days. The fools in charge of the city may refuse outright or accept only some of your requests. So only ask for what you really need. Um. Yeah, I don't. I'm not asking for a raise. Um. Yeah, there we go. Send it. We need more cops. Okay, Eddie's Burgers. Dirty, piss-soaked bum sleeping in the cafe. Man refuses to go away and growls anyone who approaches him. You know what? Butch and Birch, or Birch and Birch Jr., you two, go deal with him. Uh, proceed. You can handle the piss bum. I was reading a good book. No. Not anymore. A uh, witness looked on from a window while an armed man, uh, sucking his head, entered the nearby liquor store. Okay, we need you and you and you to handle that. In fact, you're going to be in charge because you're the better to cop. And there and there. And Grant, go learn from him. That did really overcommit us, but I don't want my cops dead. And we have lost the cops already. Um, a hot dog vendor over a two Elvis impersonators grappling on the sidewalk. They're swearing in Spanish, beating each other with microphones. Taylor, go for it. Don't uh, don't get your ass kicked by the by the people, okay? I don't want to have sent SWAT to deal with the fucking Elvis impersonators. We've got a situation. Uh, drive a patrol car through the front window. The shop has two exits from which a few people have already thread, fled. Sneak up to the back door. Second man notices police presence to catch your hostage. Hold the gun hostage head shot and back off and blow his goddamn face off. Meanwhile, the cashier is yelling an un. Quiet, Abdul. You're making things more complicated. You in the mask. Shut your face and drop the weapon. Um... You make things more complicated. The robber grows visibly nervous. Don't shoot, please. I just need the money. I'll take a, a little bit and go. No one's hurt. Uh, there's two ways out of this shop and cuffs or a body bag. I'll let you leave here upright, but only if you release the hostage. Okay. All right. We got him. I made the right choices. Good job, guys. Grant, did you learn? I sure hope so. Oh. Robbery. City center. An antique Chinese necklace stolen from the Bao Ling. Well, she was on the way to the pawn shop. Okay, we're gonna send Baisley and Drebin. Proceed. Alright, good job, guys. What's this? Um, Jack, this year the organizer of Golden Beast Hunt suddenly changed the rules of the annual shooting contest and now it features teams instead of single competitors. You can see two of your offers. It's the finest marksman. I really love to do well in the competition. Robbins and Birch Jr. Head on. 
It's hot one day and a lot of people are going down for a swim. Last week, four people drowned in the beach of Freeburg. The press is in a rock war. Please send someone. All right, Birch, go. Okay, what's the report here? Offender escaped. Officer unharmed. Well, good job. Uh, disorderly contact. Yeah, I figured that much. Okay. Um, destruction of private property. Yeah, there's not much I can do about that right now. Um, alright. Fire all black cops. No! I will not. Do we... Hold on, we're getting a cop. Hold on. Alright. Um, sex operation gang young people in ski masks forced their way and began smashing the exhibit and shouting, We don't need your shit in our city. Alright, you guys head on out. Alright, robbery investigation has started. Okay. I don't... Alright, um... Me and my husband got in a difficult financial situation. I was going to pawn an antique necklace, which has been in the family for centuries. I was carrying the necklace to pawn shop. Someone ripped a bag from my shoulder and disappeared. I didn't have anything... I didn't have time to do anything. Not even cry out. The offender was on a motorcycle. He drove down the road, grabbed the bag, then escaped. I tried to race after him, but I didn't have time to see if it was a man or a woman. I couldn't see his face. He was dressed in a jacket like those bikers who hung around the street corners. I was definitely not a local biker. They are bald and have beards. This, good looked Asi this guy looked Asian, probably Japanese or Chinese. I didn't see a weapon to say. I just saw him grab the bag and ride off. Well, that's all pretty consistent with a motorcycle guy grabbing the bag and riding off. So we'll keep that in mind. Alright, we got some cops back. We did it, Boyd! We won! That Ernest really knows something, knows a lot about shooting. Okay. He even taught us a thing or two, invite us out hunting, celebrate the victory, so we'll be taking the day off. We deserve it. Well, have a good time, guys. It's not like we have a city to protect. But, you know, a little father-son bonding. I'm always happy to help with that. Okay. Uh, Fender Cop. Event Officers Unharmed. Everybody gets a little love. Beautiful job, people. Beautiful job. Robbery. Uh, you got 3D frames. Open investigation. Okay, so we're gonna say it went like this, like this, and then like that. Um, Kwon Yin Lin is a Chinese immigrant recently expelled from the university. Okay, we're gonna have. I wish it was Van Dahl that I could send a back and lot, but we're gonna send those two. You're gonna have to wait. Oh, this is gonna be close. Okay, whew. Uh, guard went out for a smoke, saw a teenager riding up cities to the wall. I chased the brat up a tree. You can take it from there. We got ourselves a treed brat. You guys go on out. <laughs> That's funny. I put the kid up a damn tree. Okay. So Dave's pretty much finished. Robbery. We got the guy. Good job. You're able to arrest all suspects. Case is closed. She got what she needs. Beautiful. We're going to let this finish out. Because we have these guys out on call. It was a good day. Look at Stovall. Stovall's a beast. Alright, vandalism. Oh, wow, we actually got the guy. Well, good job, guys. Vandal is quickly riding up the ranks. Let's go ahead and end the day. Looks like tomorrow's going to be a long day. More... Like the first of a lot of long days, there's just too much going on. I hate paperwork. Oh, Drebin, you're so annoying. Okay, end the day. Ooh, we got a save. Nice. Uh, Thomas Blaine, pregnant woman killer sent to mental hospital, according to Dr. Leonardo. Thomas Blaine was a new form of schizophrenia, not afraid of the competition. You know what? This one's bullshit. He should go to jail. <laughs> I thought she was a suicide bomber! Bullshit. Go to jail. Okay. We need to fix that starter. Mr. Boyd, there was a man here earlier. He left you this. A man? What man? Who let him on this floor? I don't know. I've never seen him before. I asked him his name, but he just ignored me. He was talking on a big telephone. You know, one of those portables. He gave me this envelope and left. Damn. Okay, let's see about this. Don't you have security cameras you could look at? Just saying. Oh, shit. 
Of course, they could have shot them the second they took the photo. But I knew Kendrick and his family were all right. Either way, the message was not that they got out. It meant that I was in. My servitude to the Mafia had begun. I'd only been in my new position five seconds, and I already knew why Kendrick called it a contract. You sound doomed if you call it what it is. A curse. Doomed! Boyd. Good morning, Jack. I believe you just received my message. Who am I speaking with? Oh, I'm sorry. I forget some people don't recognize my voice. But I assure you, Jack, if I was sitting right there in front of you, you'd have no trouble recognizing me. Like I was a member of your family. Even better than a wife, perhaps. A wife can betray you. No man is immune. I don't talk to people who don't tell me their names. Oh, Jack, don't be so childish. You're too old to run away from strangers. Yes, we both are. And in our old age, friendship becomes rare and all the more precious. But of course, we must work with new people and find out new names. So if you insist, Jack, let us formally meet. Hello, Jack Boyd. I'm Christopher Sand. Wonderful, Mr. Sand. And what is it you do for a living? Oh, you'll soon find out all about that. Well, you'll learn much more than a simple policeman could ever expect. You're a simple policeman no longer, Jack. Don't turn off your phone. You start today. Well, fuck. <laughs> I should've just sent him to die. Eight in ten. It's been my go-to principle since my first day on the job. I've got to let my colleagues hush up what they need to, two out of ten times, so that they'll help me with the remaining eight. Eighty out of a hundred, eight hundred out of a thousand, I'm proud of those statistics. It's not so bad for Freeburg, right? But now I just officially became a Mafia whore. I'm supposed to be fearing for my life, for the lives of my wife and children. But the only thing I can think? What's gonna happen to eight and ten? Um... Our house burned down last night. My elderly father was inside. We need someone to make somehow make sense of all this. So, uh, uh, yes, yes. Don't come in, Debrito. Jesus Christ. Get better. Somebody get him a card and a plant and a house and some clothes. All right. That sucks. I hope his family is okay. Here we go. Um. We'll be fine. Kowlin turned out to be a member of knowing a growing gang known as the Red Masks. He could help you take down if you make him an informant. Yes! Let's bring those two down to our number of gangs and Freebergs. That means there are bounties to collect some of the criminals you come across with members of the gang in exchange for immunity. They may be, able to be willing to give it their bosses. Start to investigate. Um, in this way, you can get your hooks into the gang members higher and higher up the food chain. And ultimately take down the boss if you do arrest the boss gang will be finished and you'll claim your reward. It's also a rule for formally charging gang members. Whenever you arrest a gang member, you get a bonus, but your deal with that person is over. Don't settle for small fish. Yes, that's that's good. Okay, um no, we want to investigate this guy. Um I don't know that I want Mole to do anything, but there you go, Mole. I need more detectives. Um, uh, Bo then gave several interviews and talked about the atrocities of the Red Mask Gang. She embellished a lot, distorted the facts, and I wanted to keep the good people from panicking. Take down this gang in the next four days. Shut up. No, I'm not doing it. I'm just not even going to look at that. Ja oh, hey, sweet, I can hire another cop. Um, John Shannon Al. Let's go with Shift B. Probably should have hired a detective. Mm, oh, I didn't have another detective slot. Uh, fairs. Let's go to City Hall. Oh, I don't, can't do another one. Okay. Well, we've started. It's a quiet morning. Never mind. Uh, a young employee of the factory got in a fight with a manager who was trying to push him into a vat of boiling chocolate. Ah. <sighs> Why put him into a vat of boiling chocolate? Chocolate's delicious! Investigation has started! Fantastic. Um, Ning He is a faithful assistant to Jing Jang. 
founding member of the gang, is entrusted with serious jobs. Um, Ning, he keeps more visible prices at home when he arranges for their sales. He then brings them to the Wise Dragon restaurant. On the day before he's planning to make the deal, the gang must have been an immediate buyer for the necklace, so Ning, he brought it to the restaurant the same night it was stolen. Usually the restaurant is open around, around the clock, but it was closed the night before because an important deal was going down as a key to a restaurant. Valley is kept safe in the bar. Okay. Alright. We have begun our investigation into the wibbly world of that. Oh, City Hall is something we can click on now. <clears throat> Good. City Hall is fine. It's full of douchebags. Um, well, I hope they do well. Attempted murder! Hey, good job! Price is gonna feel a little bit better about herself, and Kochi's just being awesome. Alright, um, uh, parking lot attendant reports seeing a teenager walking to his car trying to handle fiddling with the unlocks. Before the attendant could approach him, the teenager found an unlocked car, shut himself aside. A few seconds later, the teen drove off shrieking from the parking lot, greatly exceeding the speed limit. He fled towards the suburbs. Alright, well, send a boogie and Austin. Austin needs good experience. Yancey, bring it home with the J boogie and get the, you know, the jumped up to boogie. <laughs> oh, shit. Kids. I've got $8,000. Hey, welcome back, guys. Good job out there. Catching the offender. Alright. Um. Overtake the offender, block the road. Catch was um let's try to overtake him and Ah, there we go. And done. Good job, Yancey. Um a weeping child condensates someone was holding him against his will. They won't let me go outside. They torture me, they bully me. I don't think I keep going on. I wanna go outside and see Pete. Alright, Coleman and Price. Go deal with this. Hater, go with him. I think it's just a kid calling the cops on his parents. But, you know, we'll see. Pretty sure that's what it is, but we'll send out three cops just in case it becomes more than that. I don't think SWAT will be necessary. That's like, you know, you're, you're dealing with kids. You know, let's just, let's just try to be cool. Be cool, guys. Be cool. Okay, I'll uh, receive the call from Anger Casino patron claims that one of the casino girls was hanging out. Has lifted his wallet, has carried a couple thousand dollars cash, several credit cards, because he started shoved him outside saying he was drunk. The man wasn't giving up so easily. Alright, Austin. Go with Kochi. Um, wouldn't go play until he ate his broccoli. See? That's what I thought. <laughs> Jack, you're dealing with a moron who refuses to pay his debts, says that the police will protect him. Next time you show him. Oh, shit. Um, J Boogie. J Boogie? Yeah. God damn it. Sorry, Jay Boogie, you just you just gotta take care of this. I should I wish I had price. Price could have handled that. Alright. Well, we are now bill collectors for the mafia. Fuck. I just couldn't let the guy die though. I couldn't let his family take the heat. Um Yay! Coachy and Austin bringing it home. Look at Austin getting up there in the experience. Good job. Kochi and Austin kicking ass. Got a great arrest record. Okay, uh, parking lot exit, a security guard stop for suspicious looking van, asked to check the driver's membership cards, female driver reached casually, opened the glove front, pulled out a gun, and opened fire. Oh shit. Oh, I can't sense what. Alright, Coleman. Head out. It's the end of the day, but I really wanted to take care of that. J Boogie is back. And looking good. Kochi's getting a raise, either way. So is Yancey if she lives, and Sabuki. Sabuki's just awesome. Caught up the van. Um, tell him to stop. The van takes a sharp turn, crashes through the window of a sex shop. A woman exits the vehicle, grabs the shop attendant, and put a gun to the head. Throw a rubber sex doll at the assailant. Let him go. Ah, there we go. We talked him down. Civilians were unharmed. Good job, Yancey, Sabuki, Hater, and Coleman. Just absolutely wrecking ass on the criminals. Those criminals' asses were wrecked. Yay. That's what we like to see. 
And done. Oh, you've got three new frames. Open the investigation. Okay, well, he opened the door, he went inside, and then he got that. Um, it's officially worked. Hasn't officially worked anywhere for the past ten years. Yeah, he has. Okay. Um, you know what? Kochi. A year ago, he became the owner of the house. The home was listed as a gift on his tax returns. This is dangerous, but we're going to do it. Maybe I should have sent SWAT. It is a gang, but I don't think it's going to be that bad. I hope it's not. I also wish I could speed this up a little bit. There needs to be a fast-forward button for drive-outs like this one. It is literally the end of the day. Alright, you guys. Be cool. Make a clean arrest. It'll be alright. Um, we caught him. Alright. Uh, we arrested all subsects. Good job. Okay. We need to get to her. So, I guess we do that tomorrow. In the day. Good job, guys. That was a good day. Good job. I don't think Mole is really a mole. I think that's just her name. Racist gangs run wild in the city. Investigation of Francis Kendrick could resume. Second tower to be built in Freeburg. Yay, yeah, towers. I'm not really a fan of this loading screen anymore. I thought it was clever to begin with, but now it's like meh. Okay, I'm driving down the road. The people of Freeburg have built up a tolerance for the petty horrors of modern life. You'll never see crowds gathering around a beaten passerby. Folks rarely even slow to gawk at a car accident. And street theft doesn't turn heads anymore. Been a long time since people got worked up about stuff like that. So when I ran into a troubled crowd on the way to work, I knew there was something serious going on. Something bad enough to knock these people out of their daily rhythm. And we're talking about people who would step over a corpse if it was blocking the door to the coffee shop. But apparently all it takes is a bunch of leaflets. Or spreading broken glass across Main Street. Or releasing a couple of hundred rats in the ice arena. The mysterious figure taking responsibility for these strange acts goes by the alias Robespierre. Nobody knows who he is, what he wants, or what all this adds up to, from the buckets of lard spread on the sidewalk to the front door of City Hall covered with ostrich feathers. But this strange cross between childhood pranks and cheap theatrics has got the people all worked up. Everyone understands when some Freeburg crook satisfies the basic human need to rob and kill. But when someone steals a lion from the local zoo and locks him in a cell below the courthouse, the people start asking questions. Myself, I kind of like this Robespierre. It's not just the pranks he's pulling or his green bull's head emblem. I just like his funny nickname. Robespierre? Really? Who does that make me? The Marquis de Lantanac? I don't think so. In the old books about revolutions, I fancy myself the old gunner who goes off to war with a bag of damp powder. Or maybe the innkeeper who tops up the beer kegs with mop water. Hmm. It's something to think about. It's very reminiscent of real life. You know, it's, it's the absurd that gets people's attentions anymore. Oh, we have a new deputy. All right. Welcome, welcome to the job. Uh, can we obtain as gifts to thank you for your service, but why wait? You can refill them in your collection now. Oh. Do they want me to order them? Uh, okay. Yeah, we're not, we're not buying any records. We gotta save our money for retirement. Good map. Okay. We're going to finish this day out, and then we're going to wrap the episode up. The Mafia can offer you some very interesting services. You're practically a member of the family now, so it will hardly cost you a thing. Just my soul. God damn it. Crime Trap. The Mafia will falsely will falsify a special crime and progress report, and all officers who arrive to see will be killed. Ooh. The Mafia will falsify a special location, and the detective who arrives to see will be killed. Um, I don't want to do any of that. 
Uh, your new assistant is no Kendrick, but he's not as useless as he might seem. He can handle some of your duties while you're pressing for time, but on lunch... Oh, lunch is on you, along with any other expenses. Mm. Oh, we've got to do our funeral for our cops that died. God damn it. Uh... Okay, well, we're not doing anything with the deputy right now. We're going to go to this funeral. She was. That makes me so sad. Alright. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, time to get the day started. Um. In progress. Okay, can't do anything there. Those guys are good. Um. A shoe store clerk reported two dangerous from the most expensive sneaker to spider on them without paying for them, ran out of the shop. You know what? Birch. And Birch. Go take care of that. Stupid kids. Uh, um, it's gonna cost me $1,300 to send him out staff for training. Yeah. Let's send, um. Let's send Aquino for training. He's a good cop. Need some more skills. I need more money. All right. It's all right. It's all good though. We're investing in our in our team, and that's worthwhile. We get into the shady side of town. That's, that's, that's that we don't want to go across there. Oh shit! Uh, standing around smoking, up front of my the new shoes. Uh, time to return the shoes. Okay. Well, I didn't expect them to do anything. A man returned to work earlier than usual and found his young wife in bed with a lover. Mate called the police, which saw the husband taking a hunting rifle off the wall. Shit. Uh, we're gonna send Vandal. Uh, Aquino is getting trained. Uh, should we send SWAT? Can we send SWAT? Is it just SWAT for the whole thing? No. Alright. I just spent $1,300 on him, so he better not die. That's not good. It could be a hostage situation, could be a murder, it could just become a shootout with the cops. Let's hope it's none of those and just a peaceful thing. Yeah, I don't really want to do any of that. Thirty-five thousand dollars to imitate members of the committee reporting a prosecutor's defense. Um, we're hosting a premiere of Back to the Future the Films Disturbance. Oh shit. Um Robbins, go ahead. You'll take the day off to watch the movie, I'm sure. Alright, Birch and Birch, you guys kind of sucked it up, didn't you? Attempted murder. Alright. Officers, civilians unharmed. Good job, guys. I'm glad your overwhelming presence did well for us. That actually makes me really happy. Okay, he is there for the, the, the TV show, and he didn't die, so he gets to go and make money. A uh, young father deprived of parental rights tried to pick up his daughter from school when he wasn't allowed access. He attacked the teacher, knocked her to the ground, and started kicking her. Oh, shit. You guys, head out. Poor dude. Needs to not do that. That's not going to help you get your kid back. It's going to make it worse. Uh, Mr. Boyd, I've been sent to a situation. Mutual friend Charlie Stays said you could help me. You already know I own the largest music store. Recently, my ex wife got half my record collection lawsuit. There are a lot of records. The ex is very afraid of the police. Always tries to act like a law abiding citizen. Some of your guns went over there in uniform. Told her those records were evidence of an important investigation. Uh, fuck. Grant. Edwino. Get her done. Shit. Um, Jack, we have something going down in the Easter plant. Uh, we wouldn't want any policemen crashing the party. I think, th okay, so 2209, the engineering plant. I'll be ignoring that call and making four grand. Oh, yeah. That's called an investment, boys. In um, that's the art gallery. Okay, guard says someone got into the exhibit hall, scrawled. Pictures of penises on the artwork and hid in the closet. All right, Grant, Vandal, <laughs> head out. Okay, we caught the guy. Everybody's unharmed. Good job, Birch. You should feel a little bit better, you and Pops. Um, do I have to send three? Well, I don't have three. I didn't realize I had to send three. I don't think my cops will get back in time either. 
Oh well. Nine, eight, yeah, I know. I know. Six, five, four, three. Um, let's not please arrive. He's in care of had a job a couple weeks because you're worried to get fired over this foolishness. Please calm down, point to the bathroom stall. Alright, come out with your hands up. Terrified young man holding a knife insists that he's engaged in some sort of performance art and then Owen refuses to surrender. Um, try to talk him down. Okay. Good job, guys. Okay. And you need three cops to do this, really. Uh, no, not you. You need to keep your yourself clean. We had two seconds to complete that one. All right, so it was 2022 or 2209 is when it was coming out, and it was at one of the plants. So we don't need to send a cop out during that time. Okay. Uh, Chief, we helped uh, and thanks to us, gave us the album, uh, the true Birch Jr. prefers glam, so he's really sad the, at the bar by the time the shift ended. Okay. Uh, yeah, three grand. Nice. I'll take it. Robbins is chillin'. Here comes 2209. Okay. The engineering plant. We, uh, we just do call from ground screen for the at the machine factory spotted two offenders stealing aluminum from the uh, factory floor through a hole in the wall. I was going to call it aluminum foil for some reason, or aluminium depending on what side of the pond you're on. Well, it looks like I'm not really interested in doing that one. Okay, this feels pretty shitty actually. But just think of the money. Alright, uh, we made four grand. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, Jack, you must have seen the newspaper stories about Thomas Blaine, the retired cop who went schizophrenic shot a pregnant woman to ensure this tragedy doesn't repeat itself. We decided to conduct psychological training on cops 50 years. It includes you, Jack, tomorrow morning. Oh boy. That's going to be a fun day. Why, why am I still here? Okay. I was, I was just curious as to why the day wouldn't end. Good job today, boys and girls. We did it. Okay. City treasurer doles out 90000 for mayor's birthday. That sounds like a good investment. Mysterious Rob's Pierre announces political ambitions. Six new restaurants to appear at City by New Year's End. Okay, well, we're going to wrap it up here. I think it was a fun and corrupt-filled day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like if you have any comments, suggestions, throw them down in the comment section below. And of course, if you enjoyed this and you haven't subscribed, consider clicking that good old subscribe button and YouTube will let you know when I get fresh content out. All that being said, I'll see you next time.